Judy, a rifle with a laser scope, four magazines of ammo, and a room with a view of the beach on Independence Day have Chicago police concerned, according to Superintendent David Brown. The Iowa man charged is 32-year-old auto mechanic Keegan Castile, who appeared before a Cook County judge this afternoon. This isn't a firearm for personal protection. What he had was weapons of war, five loaded magazines. That's not, I, I'm going to the big city and I want to take my weapon. That's something more nefarious. Mayor Lightfoot a short time ago on the arrest of a man with a rifle here on the 12th floor of the W Hotel, overlooking Lakeshore Drive, the Ohio Street Beach, and in the distance, Navy Pier, a view the hotel advertises. Police say a housekeeping staffer at the hotel reported to police that there was a guest with some alarming items in his room. We had reports from an employee of the hotel of a rifle and handgun in a very suspicious position inside one of the rooms. When police showed up, a woman answered the hotel room door here. A woman prosecutors say was the wife of 32-year-old Keegan Castile from Ankeny, Iowa, north of Des Moines, where he owns this auto body shop. In the room, police say they found a 308 rifle with a laser sight made by PTR Industries that makes and sells a variety of rifles. In the hotel room, they say were four loaded magazines and the rifle allegedly had one round chambered. Also found in the room, was a 45 caliber pistol, Castile taken into custody. During a court appearance this afternoon, Judge David Navarro ordering Castile held on $10,000 bond, requiring $1,000 cash for him to go free. Authorities did not explain in court what he was doing with the guns on the windowsill of the hotel room, the abundance of ammunition, and Chicago police did not offer a clue as to that either. And this employee saw something by entering the room to clean it, that likely uh, prevented a tragedy from happening. Castile is a father of two children with no felony history, according to police and prosecutors. Authorities in his hometown in Iowa say their last record of him was a traffic ticket five years ago. He has a gun permit in Iowa, but as the judge this afternoon noted, we're not in Iowa. No one from his family has been reachable to talk about the case against him or what he might have been doing with that firepower in a 12th floor Chicago hotel room. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.